22. Chapter 22. Chapter 22. <coughs> Revelation chapter 22. You got to say amen. amen. You ain't got to say hold on. Revelation chapter 22. Verse 20. I come quickly. Heavenly Father, God, we bow before you right now, Lord, and say thank you. God, thank you for your word. Thank you for your spirit. Thank you for the saving power of your blood. Thank you, God, for the death. Thank you for the burial. Thank you for the resurrection. Father, thank you, God, for the promise of heaven. Thank you for the Lamb, Book of Life, God, and every man, woman, boy, or girl, God, to simply bow to us, believe, and call, God, on that precious name. Above every name, God, have that name full of God pinned down in land, blood, in the land book of life, Lord. God, we thank you for that, Lord. God, I thank you, Lord, for God, this church. I thank you for the people, God. I pray as long as you can, God, to have your way tonight, Father. God, I pray you continue to save more souls, Father. We thank you, Lord, for the one God who just stood up and testified that he was saved, God. I pray, God, to use him in a mighty way as long as you can, God. And Lord God, even moments tonight, God, lost and done. Please, God, I beg you, God, as long as you can, God, save us with your laws, Lord. God, we love you. We thank you. We know, God, we have nothing, sir. We are absolutely nothing without you, God. And oh, God, we stand in need. One more time tonight, Lord. God, we stand in need. Lord, I give God all I pray for it all. God, have a cross, God, as long as you can, Lord. I love you. Thank you, God, in Jesus' name. And all God's children said, Amen. Amen. Turn around and shake somebody's hand. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. time and, and read I was flipping through and you'd be surprised how often from chapter 4 on Jesus says very little matter of fact he don't speak but about five or six times but when he does and so I If you're helping out, won't talk to him a simple thought. When it's all said and done, he'll have the last word. He'll have the last word. That's right. Sit resting at the very last thing recorded in Revelation by Jesus in red is the simple words. <laughs> you know, poor old John, bless his heart. Surely I come quickly. Back up to the last time he taught in Revelation chapter 16, he said this, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watch and keeps his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. And then he says, I come quickly. He ain't given us long to get ourselves together and get ourselves in order. But here in Revelation chapter 22, we know everything wraps up, so to speak. But really, it's only just begun. Oh, yes. Only just begun. 
And here in Revelation chapter 22, we know with John is writing these things, and the Spirit of God is speaking to him, and he's trying to pin things down as best he can. And you know, I don't envy his position at all. But it said this. Verse 22 or 1. Listen to what he was showed. A pure river. A water of life. Clear as crystal proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. <clears throat> you know, sometimes we can go to the spigot, sink, cut on the water. That always look real good, doesn't it? Matter of fact, for a while I battled Town of Forest City because it would always be dirty and I'd have to go to work. They'd say, well, put a sample in a bucket, put it out in the yard. I'd fill up a five gallon bucket and be slammed full of red. It was terrible. Put it out there. Anyway, they come down there at the very end of the road. We had to pop off and they'd open that thing up and let it drain and finally water getting back clear again. And man, we had time out of that thing, had time out of it. And uh, for a while there, it's hit or miss whether or not we cut it on, whether or not it's going to be drinkable or not. And uh, good to know that in God's city, everything's going to be pure. In God's city, everything's going to be spotless. In God's city, everything's going to be holy. In God's city, everything's going to be right. But I think that's well. I thought about, you know what? That means that us, if you're going to be there, you're going to have to be pure. You're going to have to be spotless. And you're going to have to be right. Matter of fact, as God showed me things, he said, I want you to look at this. He said, man, it's clear as crystal. And here's the key to the whole thing. It's why it looks like it is. Look where it's coming from. Amen. The throne of God. Yeah. There's nothing ever come from the throne of God that was not perfect. That's right. Nothing ever come from the Lamb that was not spotless. Nothing ever come from Almighty God that, that was not Oh, I, I want to tell you there's something to be said about being where God is. And that's what he said. He said as he's looking around and saw all this, he said in the midst and on either side of the river, there was tree life. Go back to Genesis. We know Genesis, the Bible said there was a tree there of knowledge. Tree of life. <coughs> Tom says, I'll eat it this morning if you made like I am. He won't have to say that over there because we're going to be like he is. Right. <clears throat> Matter of fact, the Bible said on either side of this river. Now, you must understand that trees that flourish the most, you know what kind of road? The water. Yeah. If they're near a source of water. How about Jeremiah said, if they're planted near the river, they'll be strong. If they're planted near the water, they'll be healthy. They're planted, they'll be planted. So they'll have fruit off. Of. And you know, my brother said, that if these things are growing around God's water stream, if they're growing around God's water supply, they're going to be something to them. And the Bible said, not only going to be a tree on both sides, it's going to bear 12 manner of fruits. I share with you more, I am not a fruit kind of guy. Never have really cared for fruit. Never will care for fruit down here. But they're coming today. I'm going to eat a basket load of it. Can I get a witness? <laughs> Won't be by myself. Matter of fact, he said it's going to have 12 fruits and they yield a fruit every month. And leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. When I see that right there, I think about, you know what? God's already made a way. He does made a way. We look at all these hurt countries and how bad a shape they're in and the stuff that's going on. He's already made a way for them to be healed. He's already made a way for them to be whole, my brother and sister. But we have got to take Jesus to them. Yeah. And the scripture said that he'll know they're going to bear these things. Now, if you notice, so far, man ain't had nothing to do with anything in heaven. And you're going to find out man ain't going to have nothing to do with anything that exists in heaven. Bible said this way. Verse 3, there'll be no more curse. But the throne of God and the Lamb shall be in it and his servants shall serve him. When I see no more curse, 
Dust curses me. Ain't no baby that thing turned upside down. I'm just going to make sure. No more curse. To me, I see one of the first things God does away with to be sin. And death. Why? Because death comes as a result of the sin. If you go back to Genesis, we know that man was never intended to die. Right. Yeah, what? Because sin was not to take place. Right. But when sin happened, there was a penalty for oh, sin. Man. And the Bible said the wages of sin is death. Yeah. That's right. So one of the first things that God threw away with is going to be death. I don't know about nobody else, but death by death, it won't be the first cemetery in heaven. It won't be the first grave plot in heaven. It won't be the first casket in heaven. That probably won't be the first urn in heaven. That probably won't be the first person ever sick in heaven. Won't be no hospitals there. Won't be no doctors there. Won't be no lawyers there. Won't be nobody. To, you know, I thought about that here, how we get our heart broken. I think about somebody praying and praying and praying for a child and lose that child. Ain't it good to know over there? Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 they're going to live forever. Amen. Amen. <laughs> How long am I going to live as long as God does? Yeah. No more curse. No more wheelchairs. No more cats. No more headaches and backaches. No more struggle and diarrhea. No more blowing up. No more tummy issues. No more heartburn. No more serving. No more. in pain for the last day. Matter of fact, you'll wake up for the last day. And the Bible said it. Matter of fact, it said, no more curse. Why? Because the throne of God and the Lamb is there. He's going to do away with all of it. Yeah. All through the Bible, Jesus, you must understand something about Jesus. Jesus was an undertaker's worst nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. Had Jesus showed up at Sunset Memorial Park where everybody buried and said, Get up, everybody would have got up. That's right. And somebody would be wanting a refund. Can I get a witness? That's right. Because where the. Remember what he told Mary and whenever Lazarus died? Yeah. He said, Have you forgot? He said, Well, I know you'll never get at the resurrection. Jesus said, Honey, I am the resurrection. He said, Nobody can die. I want you. 
aventure et aventure. That's why he handpicked and selected. That's why he said we'll get to serve. Everybody has a different imagination of what heaven's going to be like, and ain't none of it going to be right. No. All I know is, he's there, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. I don't care what I'm doing, I just want to be near him. And the Bible said this, not only his servants going to say, I love verse 4, they shall see his face. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Amen. Thank Thank you. Lord. Yeah. And his name being a boy. Remember all through the scriptures. God always said this. No man can see my face and live. Remember Moses went up on the mountaintop. He said, God, show me your face. He said, if I show you my face, He said, I'll tell you what I do. I'll pass before you. Cause a little bit is all you can take right now. In this flesh. When we got born again, those that are born again, that's all we can take now here. Yeah. But they come in the day. Amen. The Bible said we're going to look. Yeah. Won't have to shield his glory. Won't have to hold back his glory. That's why the, the Bible says we shall see his face. I don't by the way it excites me to know that the promises of God are true. That's coming today. That's why if I keep on keeping on for Jesus, I'm going to see him face to face. Amen. <coughs> I've never been one for phone interviews. But I want to talk to somebody face to face. But the cool part is that his name. Yeah. What's, what's his name going to be? It don't make no difference. Uh -uh. He ain't going to get into that because it don't make no difference. The Bible said it's going to be there. It's going to be there. And he said it's a well. Not only his name will be in the forehead. Verse 5, there'll be a night. No. Amen. There's going to come a day where the sun's going to extinguish itself. Yeah. Yeah. And say, when compared to his glory, yeah. he'll look to star and say, my day over. He'll look to moon and say, you're through too. Uh, because when the S-O-N shines, my brothers and sisters, won't be no need for nothing else. Uh, that's why, uh, and he'll be the light up there. You know what? Won't be no dark. I will tell you, there won't be no shadows. That's what they do to the bed. In heaven, there won't be no shadows. That's not because darkness will have to flee from the land of God. That's why that will be no darkness. In fact, he said, I'm going to be the light. Yeah. When I saw that, I thought, well, he's always been the light. Yeah. Yes. Matter of fact, he said, a light on the hill. Yeah. Cannot be extinguished. Yeah. But on that day. My wife said it won't even be it won't even be a dark corner in heaven. Because the Lamb Himself and His glory. See, you got to understand. That right now, the Lamb of God is so powerful, He has to veil Himself yeah. from thank for so much of Him we take. Because if he comes to us right now in our natural state, he would kill yeah. us. Yeah. But they come today. He said, I don't have to bail myself from you. That's right. He said, what's the big deal about that? Big deal about that is, I'm going to see God at his fullest, mm -hmm. in his best, mm -hmm. and all his glory. And the Bible says, come on today. Yeah. He said, hold on, there's coming today. He said, right now I have to hold myself back, but there's coming today. Coming today. Goes on to say this well. Won't be no night there. I don't even need a candle. Need the light of the sun. Why? For the Lord give them light. And they shall reign forever and ever. How long are we going to live after we die without Jesus? Forever. Forever. And forever. 
and forever. And when you get done with forever, we'll go on to another forever. And to forever and forever and forever. And my brother and sister, you must understand a two side never story. Well, if you die lost, a man will only be in hell forever. And Verse 6, he said unto me, these sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God, you know what, when I saw that, I thought, he ain't got to tell me it's true, I believe. Yeah. I believe, well, anybody, I believe. He said, these things are faithful and true. He said, and the Lord of the holy prophets and his angels has shown this servant the things which must shortly be done. Verse 7, behold, he said, I come. See the Lamb speaking. He'd been silent for a while, but he's about to speak. He said, I'm going to let you know when I'm coming. He said, I'm coming fast. I'm coming swift. That's why if you think you're going to lay there and sin, and right when Jesus comes back and says, save me, Jesus, you be sad and mistaken. Right. You right. sit in your bed and cry out. That's when right. the rest of us got up and got out of here. Yeah. That's why I thought Jesus said, I'm coming quick. Yeah. He's coming right. back quicker than quick. That's yeah. why faster than fast, swifter than swift, is how fast Almighty God is coming back. He said, Not only am I coming back, he said, Blessed is he that keeps the saying of the prophecy of his book. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be asking you. If, if you don't read nothing there, just read Revelation every day. Amen. Stay in this book every day. Keep this book every day. Go by Revelation every single day. He said, because you'll be blessed. There ain't many books. Matter of fact, I think Revelation is the only book where he said, you'll be blessed if you read and keep this book. He said, don't be afraid of this book. He said, get in this book. He said, you get in this book and I'll get in you. And what's what we do together? He said, I John, verse 8, saw these things and I heard them. And when I heard these things, I fell down to worship. That's why right, because whatever the Lamb taught us, that's why there's going to be some worship going on today. That's why right. right. he said, I fell down. I like it. He said, I didn't have to think about it. He said, I just heard him speaking and I fell down to worship. The scripture said, this is what it was. He said, I fell down. And the scripture says, before the feet of the angel was showing these things, verse 9, so this is what the angel said. Uh, he said, whoa! He said, don't bow down and worship me. He said, we in this thing together. Yeah. How cool is that? Yeah. So many denominations of religion teach in angelic worship. Angelic worship is not biblical. Amen. That is the first angel one ever went to a cross, shed his blood, and died that we might have a chance to have a life. Amen. And he got down there because he was so overtaken with what our God had. Have you ever been so overtaken? <laughs> Sometimes you can be so overtaken our feelings over all our common sense. Yeah, he bowed down here with that angel. And they said, Oh, we don't do like it up here. Yeah. I believe the angel said, Reflect back what that one scripture said. Thou shalt have no other God before me. Yeah. Why? Because God is the devil. God. I believe the angel said this. He said, when the lamb speaks, he said, this is how we roll up here. <laughs> I'll be down here with you. I believe that angel got down there beside him and said, you want to worship? Can I show you how to worship here? When he speaks, we all bow down. When he speaks, we all worship. When he speaks, everything. Can't you just see Jesus speak? And everything just stop. Yeah. All right. Yes. Because he don't speak much, but when he speaks, he says something worth listening to. Yeah, the day I got saved, he said something worth listening to. Yes. He said it's now or it's never. Yeah. And the Bible said this. 
He said, look, son, we don't do it like that up here now. He said, I'm your fellow servant. I'm the brethren of the prophets. I then was keep the saying in the book, worship God. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Oh, that shoot in the foot. Yeah. The Pope. Yeah. Oh, that shoots the Pope in the foot right there. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something. More people, I mean, Catholicism is leading billions of people to hell left and right because they're putting their faith and trust in a man. If all the way to the end, God's saying, it's my way or no way. He said, do not worship anything other than me. It's God's way or no way. And so that go ahead and shoots all the Catholic God. That man can't do nothing for you. That's right. Matter of fact, if the Pope don't get a hold of Jesus, or Jesus don't get a hold of the Pope, That's right. Pope be the same hell everybody else will die without Jesus. Yes, he will be. Yes. I'm going to tell you another thing. Billy Graham, praise the Lord for him. He died without Jesus, he's going to hell. Right. Yes, he will. He fell up, gang. We in this thing together. He said, worship God. Yeah. He said, it's all about him. He said, it was supposed to be about him down there. But honey, up here, it's all about him. Uh, yeah. uh, he said, it's all about him. That's what he says. Verse 10, he said to me, see what I'm the same that the prophet in the book for the time is at hand. Be quite regular. I'm disappointed that Jesus didn't come back this morning. And I'm going to look for him tonight. Yeah. If he don't come back tonight, I'll look for him again in the morning. Yes, come on. If he don't come back in the morning, I'll look for him all evening. Mm -hmm. But the Bible said to look until the heels. Yeah. Yes, but when it's come with our heels. Yes. Scripture said this. He, verse 11, that is unjust. Let him be unjust to you. Yes, yes. Yeah. <coughs> so many people put on a good act. Yeah, they do. That's true. I told Shelly not when we was talking this evening. I said, you know, it's a shame. I said, so many people put on an act. Get somebody to go to bed with them. Yeah. yeah. Mom. That's true. true. Can't get no amen right there, but I'm going to tell you. People want to put on a good old act, a good old show. And what God is saying is, you're going to be wicked, go ahead and be on wicked. You're going to be unjust, go ahead and be on unjust. In fact, he says, as a matter of fact, let him be unjust there. He which is filthy, let him be filthy still. He said, don't change because of this. See, you got to understand. They for one thing to change somebody, that's Jesus. That's right. Jesus, that's it. That's right. That's it. You ain't going to quit nothing, ain't going to stop nothing, ain't going to stop nothing, and get you to heaven. I'm Jesus. That's The first thing out of my mouth as a 13 year old kid, how there was a, a, a meeting, a revival meeting, I saw people getting saved with this. Went down front, my buddy said this. He said, now what do we do? I said, we've got to talk to us. <laughs> but land that on my And God had not drawn me. God had not dealt with me. And God had not convicted me. I didn't know nothing about God. And if I'd have died, I'd have died my sin and went to hell. You know, it's a shame that so many people get caught up. In feeling and emotion. Yes, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. God did not come so Adam and Eve could have good things. He did not come so they could have and get caught up in an emotional spirit with Him. He came 
that he might have a relationship. And that's what God wants with his children. He wants a relationship. And when you have a relationship with somebody, you walk with them, and you talk with them, and you spend time with them, and you hang out with them, and you care about what they want to say, and they care about what you want to say. But friends, you got to understand, when it comes to feelings, feelings come. Yes, yes, yes. There'll be more people in hell over false confessions made yeah. because they got in trouble yeah. and thought, well, if I go after the altar, yeah. that make everybody better. The scripture says the Lord said over the king and he prayed and the Bible said the words come out of his mouth and hit the floor. Why? Because the only prayer that God has ever heard and will ever hear from a lost man is saved. Amen. If anybody else prayed and prayed in vain, I stand on the word of God for that. I believe that out of my heart. Anything other than that, cried out from a lost man has never heard. That's right. Never heard. But when that boy or that girl says Jesus, yeah. business picks wow. up. Uh, that's right. The father gets up. Uh, that's right. When they call out, listen to what scripture says. He said, look, if you're going to be filled, then keep on being filled. But he is righteous. Yeah. Let him be righteous still. Yeah. He is holy. He said, let him be holy still. Yeah. Yeah. He said, don't quit. My things are getting tough. Yeah. He said, hug your damn bless God and get plugged in and keep on keeping on. Yeah. Why? Because verse 12, he said, because I come quick. Yeah. Yes, 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 he will. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Would you hate for one brief moment or one week to see your life? Jesus would come back and you'd be yeah. caught up in sin. That's right. Yeah. Caught up in sin and Jesus come back. What a shame. What a disgrace. How terrible that would be. He said, but I'm coming with you. He's coming back so fast that you ain't got time to be caught up in sin. That's right. That's right. Amen. Matter of fact, he's coming back so fast that we got to make sure that when we, we are, when yes. he comes back, that we're doing what he called us to do. Yes, right. He said this way. By the way, he said, oh, I'm coming quick. I got something coming with me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Amen. He said, I'm bringing a reward. Yeah. Not a prize. Because yeah. nowadays everybody gets a prize. He said, but I'm bringing a reward. Yes. He said, my reward is coming with me. And let's go say, what's going to do that reward? To give that man a poor ass in the Yes. Same thing about that is. Some of our pain ain't going to be so great, are we? Yeah. 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 But he said, as your works. Because oh. yeah. we know the Bible said, faith without works is dead. Dead. Verse 13, I'm out and open the end. Amen. Verse 13. Amen. Amen. Yes. He said, it started with me going in. Yeah. Yeah. First of all, thing is the one of blessed the day that keep and do, excuse me, that do his commandments. Yes. Why? That they might have the right. You see that? They yeah. don't say might have a chance at the tree of life. He right. said, you keep my commandments. You have a right. He said, it is your right, your freedom to have a shot at the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. Yeah. Yeah. He said, come on in. Yeah. Come on in. <laughs> Blessed are they, he said. Blessed. People call you a fool. For going to church, call you a fool for reading the Bible, call you a fool for tithing, call you a fool for praying to a God you can't see, call you a fool for He said, You're blessed. Yeah. Yeah. He said, I got a word for you. He said, You're blessed. Yeah. Blessed. We are a blessed 
people, my brothers and sisters. A blessed people. Blessed. And he said, blessed. He said, verse 15, outside the gates. Outside of dogs. Outside of sorcerers, whoremongers, murderers, idolaters, and whosoever love and make them alive. Amen. Yes. That thing is more like we get. The Bible said lies had it bought like fire. Yeah. Liars. 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 <coughs> he said on the outside gonna be all these. Yeah. Verse 60, I Jesus have sent my angel to testify to you these things. I am the root and offspring of David, the bright, hallelujah, and the morning star. In verse 17, the Spirit, the Holy Ghost had to talk, and he said, the Spirit and the bright saints. What's so amazing about this is, is that God already said, you're going to be wicked, be wicked. You're going to be holy, be holy. Yeah. But here's the Holy Ghost still saying, come on. Yeah. All the way to the end, yeah. it's never been God's will that the first man and woman got to go to hell. Yeah. So all the way to the end, he's saying, yeah. All the way to the end, the Holy Ghost is begging and pleading with people. Come on. Yeah. Come on. All the way to the end, he's begging. And listen to what it says. Not only is he begging, he said, let him that hear say, come. He said, you thirsty? He said, come on. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life. Free. Amen. Amen. Free. Yeah. Free. That is why so many people die and go to hell. Because salvation is free. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen, people find that they've got to earn salvation. People try to buy salvation. And the whole time, the greatest gift in the world is absolutely free. Amen. Free. free. Without charge. Free. And the thing about it is, you say, well, what ain't really worth nothing. It was worth so much to God he killed his son over. Yeah. Yeah. He said, I testify to every man that hear the words of the prophet of this book, if any man add unto these things. You see this? If any man add That are written in this book. Yes. If you don't hear nothing else, you better listen to verse 19. Here's one of the most sovereign warnings that God has ever issued. Yes. If any man take away from the words of the book of this prophet, God shall take away his part. That's the book of life. Yes. And that whole city. And from the things that are written in this book. There's a lot of things in the Word of God that we can offer our opinion on and do. Revelation ain't one of those. Very few times will I ever preach from Revelation anyway, from the promise of the Lord because I fear the Lord. Never yeah. this book up and we'll take anything out of context. That's why right. he said, I want to tell you something. He said, I will take away your father and hook a lie. And out of the whole city. Verse 20. He will say these things like, Surely I come quickly. And even after John has heard all these things, and he said, I come quickly, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, I come quickly. John said, well, Come on. Yeah. 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 Amen. Amen. <laughs> oh. He said, Come on. He said, even was so come on, come on, come on, Lord, come on. I wonder if we had the authority to call Jesus back right now. Uh, yeah. Does all life 
Line up. The way if we say, come on. Would we be glad to see? Or we say, hold on a minute. Let me go back in and play stuff out real fast and you can come on. Jonathan, that lady, he said, come on. Yeah. Why? He said, I ain't got nothing to hide. I'm not ashamed. He said, Lord, come on. Come on. And the Bible said, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. 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 When it's all said and done, Jesus, the Lamb, will have the final word. Yes, yeah, the final word. Let's thank you. Thank you.